Hey y'all, I am making this video to show you guys this small portable evaporative cooler I made earlier today in less than 5 hours and show you what I've done to it to um, make myself a small personal cooler. So in case you didn't know, I am currently studying carpentry and the workshop where I study carpentry is unair conditioned and they only use um, high velocity fans and uh, well the climate here in Indonesia in my town is rather hot and it is very humid so you'd think an evaporative cooler would work well but um, for reasons um, well I'll tell you the reasons um, one the space in the workshop is way too big to um, utilize air conditioners which are refrigerant based I would need like a 100,000 BTU AC to get it properly cooled and B uh, that workshop is an open air space so it, ha it does have a roof but um, air mostly freely circulates around there so that's why I made this cooler thing as a um, well it is a spot cooler so as you can see, what I have done is got this bucket here and cut it all up. I glued this metal screen on here so that um, big sized uh, wood chips wouldn't get sucked in. Um, smaller wood chips would get, um, so would still get uh, into the system, but well, I don't really care. Um, inside I have made a DIY cooling pad which I will show you later on the top I have cut a hole on the lid here and placed a centrifugal blower on top of it this is the blower that is from my um, attic fresh air system so that blower is currently um, oh, temporarily used for this because I hardly use that uh, fresh air system in the attic in here, if you can hear it, there's a pump circulating water um, around the reservoir which is down here to the cooling pad in there, which I will show you right now. Here you can see the cooling pad which is made out of foam. Um, this is a bit of a mistake. Um, this foam is a bit hydrophobic and doesn't like to soak water. So um, it doesn't really provide a um, nice cooling effect because it is not entirely soaked in water. Down there I have got a pump and if you can see there that um, aluminum or aluminum <laughs> bracket there holds a small plastic um, platform. I'd say. Um, just like this one up here that holds this um, cooling pad up so that it doesn't fall down into the water. Speaking of that platform, there's another one here I showed you earlier. This is the water distribution um, platform. <laughs> I don't know what to call this thing. Um, I originally planned to get a hose pipe and um, cut it all up to make a <laughs> to make a DIY sprinkler, but um, I did not have any um, hose pipe lying around. Instead, I have this plastic board, so I used this instead because I didn't want to spend any money basically building this air cooler. The pump down here is connected. Blower. The wires come up there and you can see the blower up here. The wires hang on. They go through here and into this electrical box where the uh, the lead wire from the uh, power outlet from the wall is connected to the blower and the pump. This fan has this um, capacitor that is hanging out 
um, I don't really care. And I have been uh, running this for, I would say, about two hours now. And I, to be honest, I expected it to cool a lot more than this. <laughs> um, I will show you. Right now, the air temperature in my room is 30 points. 6 degrees on average the relative humidity I would say is about 70% I am running an exhaust fan in my workshop here so that the air doesn't get too humid let's see what the temperature of the air outlet is the temperature probe is right here in the small pool As you can see, the air coming out is quite high in velocity, but it is not that cool. I would say the air coming out is at most um, 29.5 degrees, which, um, well, um, I will cut this video shortly, so uh, let this thermometer climatize the air coming out and be back to you later. Okay, I have left the thermometer here for about 5 minutes and as you can see, the temperature did not drop much. The air temperature was about 30.6 and the air outlet coming out is 30.1. I would say though, it, the difference between the temperature of the um, air in the room and the air coming out from this blower here is really no noticeable. And um, you'd have to take my word for it, but if I feel down here, which is um, where the water is at, the reservoir, it is not noticeably cooler than it is up here, around the um, cooling pad or up here. Um, that is an effect of um, evaporative cooling. So um, you get cool air coming out, you also get cold water. That's basically how cooling towers work. Um, if you don't understand how cooling towers work, it's basically a refrigerant-based air conditioner cooling down a space, but the condenser is um, soaked in water. That water gets hot, and then it is pumped to a cooling tower where um, a system like this, but much, much bigger, is uh, utilized to cool that water down so that um, it can cool down the condenser of the refrigerant-based air conditioner. Um, that's one thing you learned today. <laughs> so yeah, um, I don't really know what to say about this. Um, but um, this project here is designed to be um, thrown away after it's used. I'm not sure if I can actually use this around here, around my workshop because I don't really need an evaporative cooler. I have um, rather powerful fans and air conditioners. So um, I don't exactly need something to add humidity to my work area. <laughs> because, well, the climate here is rather high in humidity. It's, well, it's very sticky around here. Just like, say, India and countries like that so yeah this probably will be uh, used in my campus's workshop until my uh, graduation and then after that it will be dismantled and probably thrown away um, but that's coming soon um, I still have yet to use this thing uh, where I intended to use it which is that workshop in my campus uh, so I will um, report you report to you uh, in in the form of a um, an update on the description or a pinned comment. So uh, thank you for watching. Um, I hope this gives you inspiration. Um, obviously, um, a evaporative cooler doesn't really work in a humid climate, but if you live somewhere like Australia or places where the humidity is low. Um, this should probably work for you. Again, thank you for watching. Take care and goodbye.